Hey guys, it's Casey Outcast here. Um, I don't know. I haven't been recording anything the last two or so weeks. Um, um, I anything that's new with me. Um, I just got out of school like a week ago, and um, yeah, I just got out of school. I skipped out summer school. <laughs> I know my mom's kind of pissed at me for it. I'm not wasting my summer for a credit to make up, so, oh well, and my, nothing much really, I mean, my birthday's coming up in a month, <laughs> and, yeah, anything from the updates from the last video, I think I explained about, um, getting a psychiatrist, if not, um, I went to the doctor and there I put out a referral seeing if I can get one. Originally I said, Oh, um, we'll call you in a week or two for one. Don't worry. Then those two weeks later they said, Oh, I'm sorry, we gotta wait you gotta wait an extra eight weeks for a psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. Eight weeks. So I got this number and I haven't called it yet. I think it's called MUD. I don't know. It's supposed to, like, same with the psychiatrist. It's not quite like a, the National Suicide Hotline. But, you know, it helps. It helps teenagers and people who are going through a rough time. So, I haven't checked it out yet. But if you have, let me know how it is. Does it help? Um, are they, is the people caring? Or whatever. I don't know. But the main reason I wanna um for this video today, I recently got my Tumblr back on. Yes, I originally had a Tumblr account, but I deactivated it. Kind of stupid reason why. But I got back on and I know how to work. I know how to work it out. I know what's going on. <laughs> so if you guys want to follow me, the link would be down in the description. It would be Casey Outcast, Tumblr or whatever. And when I was looking on Tumblr, um, yeah, when I was going on Tumblr and I was looking through my dashboard, you know, blah, 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 and I saw these 99 questions, which originally it's titled, Will Someone Do This? Fuck. <laughs> originally by Crystallized Dreams, but I got it from Mr. Davy Strider. I got, uh, reblogged it from him. And it's just a series of questions. It's a lot. It's like 99 questions. So, and I also got another thing. I also got another one to do. So, um, if you guys like this one, you can like it or whatever, so I can do another one. So, with further ado, I'm gonna start it. 99 questions. Let's see if we can do this before my computer dies. <laughs> okay, first question: sexuality. I am a pansexual and nobody has known. It's kind of like bisexuality, but they mostly concentrate on the person, like personality and stuff like that, not the gender of the person. You get that. Okay. Second question. If you could meet anyone on the, on this earth, who would it be? Hmm. I know I already met him, but I want to meet um, Gerard Way again. I really want to meet him, because this time I want to say to him, just thank you. I just want to tell him thanks. I didn't, like, two years ago when I met him, when the band was still together in My Chemical Romance, I was starstruck. So, kind of sad. I really want to tell him thank you for rescuing me and rescuing so many other fans who went through a hard time. So. <clears throat> Third question. Grab a book nearest to you, turn to page 23, give me line 17. Um, I was just reading my Marilyn Manson book. So, let's go to that. Page 20. Oh, well, it's part of the. It's part of the, yeah, okay. It's part of the sentence, but. Beginning at age 12, I embarked on a very escalating campaign to get kicked out of school. 
that's all I got. So, <laughs> um, next question, what do you think about most? Mm, I don't know, I think about a lot of things. I think I mostly think about music. What's the latest text message from somebody else say? I got my phone on me. Let's see. Mm. But on the 24th, she's going to have a cake and they're going to sing to me. Nothing else. For my boyfriend, talking about his birthday. That's coming up next week, Monday. Question number six. Do you sleep with or without clothes on? I do. I mean, I've been sleeping with this for the last, like, four days now since I've been here at my dad's house. <laughs> yeah. I really don't like wearing pajamas, so. And if I'm too late to do it, I'll just sleep in my regular clothes. Um, what is your strangest talent? Um, I don't think I have a strange talent. I got normal talents, but nothing special. Um, nothing really. Question number eight. Girls? Okay, it's like finish the sentence kind of deal. So, girls? Um, what do girls do? Or whatever. Girls? Sometimes overreact to anything. That is kind of true. And boys, um, boys are stupid. They really are. <laughs> Question number nine: Ever had a poem or song written about you? Yes. Um, my boyfriend um wrote a couple songs about me, and to me, and sung them to me, and. <laughs> Uh, question number 10. When's the last time you played air guitar? I think it was last night. No, two nights ago. I was listening to Motionless and White. Question 11. Do you have any strange phobias? I have... I have a phobia against needles, bridges, um, clowns, and lobsters. I don't want to get into details about the lobster phobia. Um, that would be kind of strange for me to say. <laughs> um, whatever. Question 12. Ever, ever stuck a foreign object up your nose? What? Um, no? Maybe? Define foreign. Um, duh. Question 13. What's your religion? I am practicing Wicca. Oh my god, she's just saying this. Oh my god, she's praying dark magic. No, Wicca. Good magic. I hate when people get confused on him. Question 14. If you're outside, what's the most... What's, what are you most likely to do? I am not outside, as you can see. I'm in my room. Bored as hell on my computer answering these questions to you. Um... And I want to be walking. I want to walk right now, but I don't have any keys. Question 15. Do you prefer to be behind the camera or in front of it? I'd rather be behind, but in front's okay. I like both, so. Simple but complex, but extremely complex. Favorite band? Do they really get to pull off this question? Um... Lemon dance for there. What is the last lie you told? Last night when I said I want to go to bed to my last time I last time I lied was to my boyfriend saying I want to go to bed. Question eighteen. Do you believe in karma? Yes I do, and so does my dad. What does your URL mean? It's just Casey Outcast, it's just my name. What is the greatest weakness? What is your greatest strength? Um, I think my weakness is, I think my weakness has to be keeping stuff on time, like, usually turning stuff late, or, yeah. My greatest strength, 
I listen. I listen a lot. Um, yeah. Who is your celebrity crush? Hmm. I crush on a lot of people. I don't want to go through the list. <laughs> Have you ever gotten skinny tubing? Ew, no. How do you vent your anger? You don't want to know. Have, do you have a collection of anything? Yes, I collect rosaries. I. Um, yeah, I collect rosaries. Um, I collect CDs, if that counts. Um, what else do I. Is collecting books count? <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I collect books. I mean, I got a giant pile of books at home. Um, yeah. Nothing much. I wish. I also collect um autographs and merch and anything from fans, so do you prefer talking on the phone or video chatting online? I like both, but I am extremely awkward on both. Um, are you happy with the person you become? I could be a better person, but mm, it's okay. What's the sound you hate? Sound you love. You know that, uh, the sound I hate. You know the sound of, like, a fire alarm or, like, a car horn? Like, after, like, five or ten minutes and it's not been shut off and it feels like you're getting used to it? Yeah, that's why I hate. I, the sound I like has to be music. Any kind of music. It can be drums, it can be guitars, it can be maracas. It could be anything. I like, I like music. What is your biggest what if? What if, what if I failed my parents? Do you believe in ghosts? How about aliens? I believe in ghosts and I sort of believe in aliens. Well, I believe there are other creatures in the, in space, but I don't think they're coming here anytime soon. Stick your right, stick your right arm, arm out. What do you touch first? Do you do the same with your left arm? Oh wait, is it like up or out? Um, I'm touching my computer. Arm out. Touching my pillow with my left arm. It's kind of a weird question. Smell the air. <sighs> What do you smell? It smells stale in here. You know, like stale air, which you haven't like opened your windows in a while, and it's like, yeah, that's what I smell. What's the worst place you have ever been to? Um, it was this campsite when I was still in Girl Scouts. It was this campsite, and they had a frames, and there was like doors, like mini windows on each side. And they would open up, even if they were locked. So, yeah, that was pretty scary. <laughs> Shoes. East Coast or West Coast? West Coast. Most attractive singer of your opposite gender. This question again. Um, I mean, Annie Beersack's pretty. Annie Beersack is pretty cute. Um, yeah, I'll go with him. Whatever. To you, what is the meaning of life? The meaning of life is to figure out what the meaning of life is. If that counts. Define art. Art can be anything. If you have an image and if you know how to express it, I think that's art. Question number 37. Do you believe in luck? Yes, I do believe in luck and I wish I had more of it, but when I was a kid I had tons of it. I wish I had more now. What's the weather like right now? Uh, it's really sunny. I think it's cold outside. It's it was cold this morning. Yesterday, sorry, not gonna trust me. Yesterday was nice and warm and stuff like that. It was like in the 80s, I think. Right now it's in the 60s. But it's sunny outside, so you can't complain. I think. Um, question 37 or 30, 39. What time is it? It's 6:32 right now. Question 40. Do you drive? If so, have you crashed? 
No, I I really suck at driving. I even suck. I don't know. I don't drive. But I have been into like three car accidents recently last week when I was going to Target with my dad. Long story short, it's, it was the dude's fault, but it's getting, the car is getting fixed right now. The whole, the front bumper like just tore off and yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> What's the last book you read? I think it has to be the One Piece series. I think I was on book 24 or 25. I know, they were just getting out of Alabasta and stuff like that. Question 42. Do you like the smell of gasoline? Ew, no. But I do like the smell of burning rubber. Do you have any nicknames? Casey Outcast. I also been called Kelly Willie, Boo, um, Princess, um, Raw Bar Girl. I don't know, some, some dude on this chat, chat room I'm in called me Raw Bar Girl. Raw Bar Girl. Because I listen to a lot of bands who switch which will lead singers scream and stuff like that. So, rah rah girl. Holy crap, this is taking forever. I'm sorry. Let's speed this up, okay? Um, what's the last movie I saw? The last movie I saw was A Good Day to Die Hard last night. Dad said it sucked, but I thought it was okay. What is the worst injury you had? My left wrist was, um, sprained during, during, um, Roller skating, I think, two or three years ago. Um, I ever caught a butterfly. Yes, yes, I did. And those suckers suck. I hate them. Do you have any obsessions right now? I'm obs um, obsessed with Homestuck right now. Yep, I like Homes. I already answered this question, but it's what is your sexual orientation? Pansexual, duh. I had a rumor spread about you. I had tons growing up during growing up um grade school. I there was a rumor out that I was a slut. There was also a rumor that I had lice. Um, there was a rumor where people say I was gonna kill myself. There was a rumor that I was gonna kill somebody or at least get them in a fight. So yeah. Do do you believe in magic? Yes, I do believe in magic. Question fifty. 51. Do you tend to hold grudges against people who have done you wrong? Depending on the person, I usually do, but I do, but other way, I get bothered about it. So, question 52. What's your astrology? Ah, what is your sign? I'll just say it like that. Cancer. Um, do you save money or spend it? Both. I try to get the best thing, or a thing I like for a low price. I don't like to spend a lot, but if I really, really need it, I'll buy it. What is the last thing you purchased? I think it was ice cream last night. Yeah. Love or lust? Um, do I have to pick either or? Um, well, you gotta have love to get into lust. Um, everyone needs lust now and then, so. I don't know, I'll just put it like that. In a relationship? Yes, I am. And tomorrow will be seven months, so... Yay! How many relationships have you had? I don't know if you count the other two, but if you don't, I'm already in one, so... Can you touch your nose with your tongue? Mm. Mm -mm. I guess not. Where were you yesterday? Where I am right now. Is there anything pink within 10 feet of you? Got pink scissors, I got pink cowbells, I got pink Hello Kitty puzzle box, I got a pink stuffed toy, um, I got another pink box with Hello Kitty on it, um, yeah. Um, are you wearing socks right now? Nope, I don't like wearing socks as much. Question 62, what is your favorite animal? Um, I like the tiger, which is my Chinese zodiac sign. I like, um, hedgehogs, I like rabbits, I like dogs, I like cats, uh, you know, I like any animal, I really do. What is your secret weapon to get someone to like you? Actually, it's no secret, you just gotta be yourself. 
gonna say would you like, would you just click? It's you know, there's no secret to it. So question sixty four. Where is your best friend? I think she's at home right now. Probably taking care of her baby brother. Question sixty five. Spit or swallow. Question sixty six. What is your heritage? I am Irish and German and English. I don't know which one is which, but I know my dad is English and Irish, I think. But I thought my mom was Irish, but she's actually German, and it's, ugh, it's confusing. What were you doing last night at 12 a.m.? I was on my computer talking to St uh, talking to my boyfriend on Skype. What do you think of Satan's last name? Satan has a last name? Be <laughs> Question 69. Be honest. Ever gotten yourself off? Are you the kind of friend who wants to have as a friend? I can be a better person, but I guess I can. I guess I am. Question 71. You're walking down the street on your way to work. There's a dog drowning in the canal on the side of the street. Your boss has told you you're late. One more time, you are fired. What do you do? Well, if my job really, really sucks, I'll probably save the dog, no matter what. But, you know... And then again, I don't like working for other people. This is probably the scenario where you're working at a company, working eight hours a day, um, in a suit, sitting at a desk, typing. So, I would say the dog. Question 72. You're at a doctor's office, and she has confirmed that you have approximately one month to live. Do you tell anyone, everyone, you are about to die? I would probably tell my closest friends and family and stuff like that. B. What would you have to do with your remaining days? I would spend time as much as I can with my family and friends and stuff like that. And, yeah, I don't know. Try to spend as much time as family I can get. Let's see, would you be afraid? Of course he would be afraid. I mean, you're leaving your friends and family and everyone you love behind. You, yeah, you can get scared. Question seventy three. You only have one. You can only have one of these things: trust or love. Well, you need to trust a person, to love somebody. So, trust. Question seventy four. What's the song that always makes you happy? Ooh, excuse me. What song that always makes you happy when you hear it? Um. I gotta say Champagne Supernova by um Oasis. That always gets me happy. What are the last four digits in your cell phone number? Three nine six three. Question seventy six. In your opinion, what makes a great relationship? Okay. I've been going this for seven months now, and I think I finally figured it out. You you gotta have a balance between likes and dislikes. Yes, you can have a lot of likes, but there's nothing else to um have a diversity in the relationship. So you gotta have some dislikes. If you have little dislikes, then what's the point of being in a relationship? So question seventy seven. How can I win your heart? Buy me a bunch of concert tickets tickets. <laughs> buy a bunch buy me a bunch of concert tickets and merch and I will love you forever. Question 78. Can insanity bring on more creativity? Well, yeah, of course. If someone's insane, they can see something in a different point of view. So, yeah. Question 79. What is the single best decision you ever made in your life so far? I think it would be giving up my heart to somebody who loves me very much. Question 80. Which, suit, which size shoe do you wear? I wear 8. But I can fit in the 7.5 if I want to, but mostly 8. Question 82. What is your favorite word? I, gotta, I, say, I say dude a lot, but I also say fuck a lot too, so. Question 83. Give me the first thing that comes to your mind when you, say the, when you hear the word heart. I think of blood. Or... At least what you think comes to mind. Blood. Question 84. What is, what is the saying you say a lot? 
I always say I'm hungry or I'm bored or I don't feel good a lot. I really do ask anybody. What is the last song you heard or you you were listening to? Um, I don't know. I've been watching a lot of um let's plays on YouTube, so. Well, I was listening to an Irish drinking song from Whose Line Is It Anyway? Does that count? Okay, basic question. What are your favorite color or colors? I like black, I like red, and I like white. I do like a lot of other colors, but those are the three ones I can come with right now. Question 87. What is your current desktop picture? On which computer? Because on this one, I have um, Motionless and White. But on my other computer, I have Dobby Danzy. So. Question 80. If you can press a button that can make anyone ins ins instantly or instantaneously bleh, explode, who would it be? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's this one dude from school, which I hate very, very, very much. Um, what's the one question you're afraid to tell the truth on? I'm afraid to tell my dad about my true sexuality, because I don't know his views on, like, homosexuals and gay marriage and stuff like that. But, I don't know. Yeah. Question 90. We're almost there, guys. We're almost done. Alright, question 90. One night you wake up and you hear a noise. You turn on the light to find that you're surrounded by mummies. The mummies aren't really doing anything. They're just standing around around your bed. What do you do? Um, I'll be scared and probably hide under my sheets. <laughs> um, question 91. You accidentally eat some radioactive vegetables. Ew, vegetables! They are good, and what's even cooler than you down you with superpower of your choice. What is that power? I like to make copies of myself. Yeah, you know, like doppelgangers? That'd be cool. So I can send one to my boyfriend and send one to my friends and stuff like that. Question 92. If you can relive any point of your time, time in your life, the time span can only be half an hour though. Which half hour would you spend, like, to experience again? I like to go back in time seven months ago and meet my boyfriend again. Yeah. Uh, you can erase any horrible experience from your past, what it be? Um, it, I don't want to say it, it's kind of, you know, it's, no. Question 94, you have an opportunity to sleep with a music celebrity of your choice, who would it be? Oh shit, my boyfriend's gonna be mad at me. Um I think John Fire was good in bed. I don't know. I mean he has a son. Oh my god, what the hell am I even saying? Uh question ninety five, you have a free plane ticket to go anywhere. You have to depart right now. Where would you go? I would like to go to Kyoto, Japan. That'd be cool. Question 96. Do you have any relatives in jail? Yeah, I have a, I have one in jail. My uncle. Um, uh, question 97. Ever thrown up in the car? I think I was when I was a kid. And I think I had motion sickness or whatever while I was eating. And yeah. Question 98. Ever been on a plane? Yes, I have. One time, one time only, sadly, last year, no, two years ago, no, yeah, last year, I went to D.C. And question 99, if the world was listening to you right now, what would you say? Shit, I got a lot to say, so I don't even want to start. Uh, that's it. That's all 99 questions, and it took me almost a half an hour. Shit. <sighs> Whatever, um, you know the deal, guys. Like, favorite, and share it with your friends. If you want to wait for more craziness that might come around, hit that subscribe button above, um, watch my other videos and stuff like that. Um, I know, I know, I meant to put up the Fall Out Boy one, but it's... 
so that's it guys uh, I'm Casey Outcast and I prove this message um yeah thanks for staying around for these 30 minutes oh and if you want to do also if you want to do a video response with the questions of your with the questions I'll put down the link down below in the description if you want to do it so yeah bye guys